So I've been seeing Nissa quite a bit in the t leagues, and so I thought I would try and bring her back. Um, I tried initially to play this fourth place deck from last week's Commander Challenge, um, but I didn't end up liking it. I mean, the builds are very similar, but uh, this deck has Smuggler's Copter and Lifecrafter's Bestiary, which are some important cards um, for dealing with some of the grindier matchups. And, uh, you know, some of the other cards I'm not as certain about. Emerald Medallion, Warping Wheel, um, you know, I don't, I don't know. All is Dust. I, I just didn't like the way the de deck was built. So I went back to my old deck, um, and, uh, this is the, the one I played with the, uh, the Hour of Devastation cards in it. I cut the, uh, Menagerie put the Summoner's Pack back in, but uh, Romanek Excavator is still in there. It's it's still a fine card, um, and it's in it's in this one as well. Uh, so, you know, it's it's pretty much a staple in this these, these days. Um, so, I'm going to give it a shot and see how this one does. Um, the other one did not perform very well for me, um, so I figured I'd try and bring back this one. Um, we played against some of the grindier matchups, and I didn't end up you know, I, I, I was wishing for these kind of cards. And so let's see if we can do better. Alright, we got match one. We are on the play. Uh, we playing against Jace. Uh, we have no turn one ramp. We do have a Cavern of Souls. I'm going to try it. Hoping to bury him under the card selection of the Smuggler's Copter. So I'm going to start with that right away. Uh, these are both elves. That's great. We also have a Birthing Bod. He goes straight for Jace, it looks like. Well, it looks like he might want to hold up a counter spell, except. We get to avoid a counter spell. And get a forest. He might have a bounce spell. They play a lot of bounce spells. Uh, let's get snow covered forest. Let's crew. Yep. He probably would have used it before we triggered that ability. I think we can get rid of a wasteland. No, let's get rid of snow covered forest. That's the one we revealed as well. On the bright side, we didn't draw another forest next turn. Um, we get to draw whatever the next card is. So, Smuggler Copter really good there. We can take a little bit of a risk here and play this Nature's Lore into the Fierce Empath next turn. He could counter the Nature's Lore. Here comes Jace and a myriad landscape. Grook's really good, but he could have Spell Pierce or Force Spike or 
blah blah blah. So let's play around that. Let's play the nature's lore. Doesn't counter that. That's great. And then let's doing this before combat specifically because I want to use it to crew the smuggler's copter. Um, I don't think any of these are elves. We could get a duplicate. How far close? We got five mana. Or we could get a primeval titan. Or we could get an oblivion sower, which he can't counter the ability of. Or we could get a world breaker. Primeval titan has the biggest upside if it resolves. I don't know if he can flip Jace. Call it probably 50-50 odds. just get primeval titan let's go big oh that's going big um what do you discard in this situation? Like, these are all so great. I guess you don't need the birthing pod? Oh, that just doesn't feel right. Grook Wildspeaker. Wasteland, maybe? Hmm, that's a tough one. An embarrassment of riches right here. I, I think the birthing pond isn't necessarily going to get us there. These big creatures are what's going to get us there, I think. Could be wrong. It's actually something we could play with the primeval titan next turn because of the carpet of flowers. So maybe... We can hope that he sacks the Myriad Landscape in order to put another card in his graveyard. It seems unlikely because that's counter spells down and he knows we just got a counter, uh, Primeval Titan. Yep, doesn't look like it. Bribery? Temporal Manipulation, okay. Let's hope he can't just go off. Maybe I should have got a duplicate. I don't know. Yeah, actually a much higher chance he'll flip it now. But I doubt he can flip it and flash back the temporal. I stand corrected. Oh, these J stacks are miserable to play against because they just take a million turns. So minus three and take another turn. Worst case scenario is he's got a six mana take another turn. And then he doesn't have to minus three. That would that would not be great for us. He discarded a land. So I lost a small section of the recording. My opponent was taking a while to make his decisions and uh, I paused and the small section of the video between a couple of decisions that he made uh, 
ended up corrupt. And so uh, from the replay, I believe all it was was that he snapped our Nissa. And then uh, untap two lands. And then he plays uh, Flash of Insight, which is what's on the next section of the video. He's Flash of Insighting for one, leaving five mana open to Temporal Manipulation, I assume. All right, he's snapping a Fierce Empath. It looks like. <laughs> I'm hoping all that tapping and untapping means he miscounted. Doesn't look like it. Is this a temporal fissure? All right, Flash of Insight for one. Oh, that's miserable. Well, I thought we were in a good position. The other part that makes Jace miserable to play against is he hasn't technically won yet, and it could take him a long time to actually win. But he just set us back to the Stone Age. And he probably won. But. Like. Actually. We have a carpet of flowers. I actually forgot about that. Yes, green, uh, seven mana. <sighs> Do we go, this gets us two lands. Yeah, let's play the primeval titan. I don't think he expected us to play primeval titan the turn after so we definitely want a homeward path. Um, do we want a Nykthos? It taps even right now, but that's going to get out of control pretty quick. Let's grab a Nykthos. Uh, do we have anything we can do with this one mana? All right. Get rid of the Tech Edge. Uh, let's get rid of the Misty. Let's get rid of... We, we gotta discard two more cards. I mean, just in case he has something special, we can get rid of one Forest. And we definitely don't wanna... I guess Garruk is probably a bit slow. I don't know, with this Nykthos though, Is it the Smuggler's Copter? It's probably a Smuggler's Copter. Alright, he's got four cards. He can't flashback Temporal Mastery right now. He might be able to bounce Primeval Titan. I don't know how good that is. He's digging. Wow, he's digging. All right. Hmm. 
<laughs> I didn't even notice this low. Yeah, the carpet of flowers. See, that's why I wanted to keep the wasteland around. Commit. All right. I guess we have the uh, Sylvan Primordial. So seven. Can Nissa or Fierce Empath? I think we Fierce Empath for Emrakul. Like immediately. Let's, let's do this first. Is there any green sun zenith for nine mana? It's got to be a green creature. Too many decks. Um, oh, I swear I saved this deck without uncaged the menagerie. I put... Oh, well. Hopefully that doesn't come up. So our best creature is... Well, we could Woodland Bellower or get our Primeval Titan out of our deck. I think I want to kill this Ancient Tomb, though. We lose the Primeval Titan. So we'll be looking to get that back. Uh, or do we want... No. I should have waited. Which is better, Emrakul or Ulamog? Ulamog? We didn't do the mana right to Green Sun Zenith, but we weren't going to anyways. He could sack Jace to Temporal Manipulation. Unless he drew one in all that fishing he was doing. All right. You replay Jace? Factor Fiction. My Relapse doesn't really do anything. I'd rather him take that than the Compulsive Research. Okay, he takes the Compulsive Research. He is digging, digging, digging. So Cavern taps for one extra, or Nyklos taps for one extra mana right now. All right. You get a force of will. Cause I'm gonna replay it. Oh, I should have replayed it. That was actually a pretty big mistake. All 
All right, he did draw a force of will. Um, so it didn't matter, but We can untap two and then get five mana. I don't think we want to green sun for one. Just looking to play our old drowsy. He's at 12 life also. Carpet of flowers is so broken. I mean, I genuinely think there there needs to be something that balances out blue. Oh, jeez. It's a hell of a draw. I mean, he could minus, he can't cast the Ulamog and minus Garuk. He green suns and fail to find. That arrow cool, man. I was wondering if I should have hit his land. I didn't think there was a strong reason to. I needed my lands more. All right, he's played a forest and flipped Nissa. Which is interesting. I didn't. I don't even understand playing a forest when you could play a wasteland. It's nine mana. You have to take up Grook if you want to play Ulamog. Alright, so that's what he's doing. What are you exiling? Oh, the okay. 
Um, he needs to f play Green Sun Zenith and fail to find. Otherwise, that's really bad for him. Swing with S S Sylvan. That makes sense. Alright, it looks like, yeah, he's going to fail to find. Um, there is, actually isn't anything, because the Dryad Arbor is in my hand. And he writes down my hand. So let's... This is actually better than free. This is free with the Nykthos. We haven't played a land yet, right? Oh, he actually exiled Nyssa. That's pretty heads up. I'm going to exile this land. And I'm not attacking. Vidalkin Shackles. Can he control the Ulamog? Oh my god. That's gross. Oh, I thought they were, we were dead, and then I thought we were going to win, and then I'm now pretty certain we're dead. Oh, that was a brutal turn. Alright, 13 in the sky. We can only take one more turn of that. We have to block here. I guess our best draw would be uh, Wood World Breaker. But knowing this deck, it's probably going to be Forest or, you know, Cult of Eight. He's faffing. Faffing. Teferi versus... Yeah, we can't give him a land into fairy. Can't give him an extra planar lens into fairy. Let's give him that. So he took the fairy to the fairy. He had a land and he didn't play to fairy immediately. Yep. Exceptional draws. I mean, the Carpet of Flowers was no slouch, but, uh, whew, that was a rough one. All right, we got match two. We are on the play. Playing against Selvala, the faster ramp deck. We're missing a land, but we have a turn one ramp. But we are missing a land, and I do not think we can keep this. We have no colored land. All right. Uh, we don't want that. All right, he doesn't have turn one ramp. That's good. All right, let's play that one.
At least we got some big spells. Alright, he's ramping though. So, we are two turns away from playing this conduit. Three turns from casting a duplicate, but we kind of need the duplicate right now. Because Silvala is going to go off. It might take him an extra turn to go off. Alright, well we can play Pelugrinos. And hope that it takes him an extra turn to go off. Um, we can't really do six mana though to kill him, uh, Savala unless we get a lucky land. We do draw a land off, or a card off of, which is a land, off of Pelucranos. Let's hope he doesn't have a cheap creature that allows him to go off. It's not really what he's looking for, I don't think. That is three elves, though. So that's five mana, six mana. And six mana. It's no joke. Oh, we need seven mana to activate this. We need six mana for the duplicate, though. Um, this is also six mana. What do you got for... Alright, he's got his own duplicate. And now it's a 5-5 five five and we're in trouble. I guess our best hope... Well, we could play the Conduit. And Conduit's probably better than Nyssa. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what do we want here? Is it just World Breaker? We're a ways from casting Ulamog. Let's just get World Breaker. And our only hope here is if he doesn't have a big payoff spell. Looks like he does. Five mana. Oh, that is one of the best creatures in his deck. He's probably going gangbusters right now. <laughs> uh, this can't be good for us. He's having more mana. Yep. Um, pretty sure we're dead here. Do I stay in this? No. Now let's let's just get out of this. A bad moment again. I would have liked to have kept the first hand, but I think it was way too greedy. And I did had no interest in caving the second hand, even with a scry. I think that one was way too greedy. 
so it happens. All right, we got match three. We are on the play. Playing against Nissa. We have no lands. This is definitely a mulligan. Uh, two lands and a ramp spell. This is keepable. Let's hope we can ramp faster than this Nissa. That's kind of the deciding factor. And having a turn one ramp is good. Um, getting another ramp spell would be a big step. The beachy area might be pretty good. It's hard to say. I think we might want to play that on turn two. Uh, we'll definitely keep this. Uh, he mulliganed as well. He mulliganed to five. Pulukranos. I don't think so. I would rather have a ramp spell or a land. I think it would be too greedy to go for anything else. And he doesn't have a turn one ramp. That's great. Let's go ahead and... Uh, we'll play the Life Crafters Beast here. It gives us a scry next turn. Hopefully we hit a land. And then we can... Uh, Nissa and draw a card, which should put us at a significant advantage. I think I want to scry anything non-land at the bottom. I don't know, a cheap creature might be okay. I'd really like to play this Nista and draw a card. So, okay, he's got a ghost quarter, and he three visits. And he doesn't have anything to do with the extra mana. Oh, yep, we definitely want that. definitely want to do that. Great way to get ahead here. Card advantage, not ramp, which is a little bit unfortunate. Um, explore might be ramp. Alright, so he's not ramping again either. So we're even on mana. We're actually, yeah, we're even on mana. But we're a turn ahead of him. So this scry is entirely dependent on what we see. I have no idea what we'll keep and what we won't keep. Um, we can explore... Pay two land, play two lands, and turn a witness getting back a land, but is that, I'll take it, I think it's greedy not to, and this gets us closer to flipping Nissa, and just draws us so many cards.
Uh, do we want to just want the Explorer? Yeah, let's just take the Explorer. Um, and then we're at five lands. I don't think we want to attack with the Nyssa. Let's not worry about it. I guess you could ghost quarter our forest. I'm actually kind of okay with that because then he's not ghost quartering an Ayabugan or something like that. What do you got here? A ramp spell? An Oracle Medaya. Alright, an Acid Moss. We definitely want that. Um, so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Well, we can go rook. Untap two lands. If we don't hit a land on this explore, then we don't draw a card off the vizier. Does that matter? want to play this Ayabugan because of the Acid Moss and the Ghost Quarter. Like, I'd like to wait until it actually does something for us. Let's just Vizier and draw a card. Alright. Can't do anything there. Carpet of Flowers doesn't do anything. We might need to discard a card at some point. Let's wing with the I, uh, the Eternal Witness. You can't attack. Um, it's hard for that to be wrong, isn't it? But is it wrong? No. We could play that. Or we could just prime time, which I think is right. And we won. So, yeah, we would have gotten two lands. I think we would have played the Emrak the Ayabugan now in order to flip the Nyssa. And, uh, but he's pretty far behind. All right. Nice to actually win a match. All right, we got match four. We are on the draw. We are playing against Brea. This hand is not nearly good enough. Um... Mm. 
we're on the draw, we get a scry, a draw, and then another draw. I think I have to try and keep this. Let's hope. Now he knows what we kept. Unfortunately, our lands aren't vulnerable, but our ramp spells are, or our land. We could draw another land that is vulnerable. Interesting to play this now. Her disadvantage. See, like reanimator or something. Serum Visions Island, that's not reanimation targets. Come on, lands. There's a lot of them. We're not strictly dead if we miss a land drop, but we're probably dead. All right, he doesn't have an artifact. Uh, it's some, some artifact ramp. All right. It's probably dead. I mean, it's 100% correct to kill this on site. He's apologizing, meaning he's going to kill it. Alright, Mystical Tutor. Also card disadvantage. Instant or sorcery. I, I assume he's going to get something. To, intuition? Maybe he is. Reanimation. Jeez, come on. Like, that's four draws to a land. That shouldn't. I think this one's the hardest to counter. Alright, that's what I was worried about. Um, we cannot deal with an Iona, so that's got to go to his hand. We can't really deal with an Aleshnorn either, but we can't do anything against an Iona. We still haven't drawn land. Um, he didn't get children at least. So far. Um, let's play Rampant Growth. So I don't think 
even if we had drawn land that this would have gone well for us and I don't think it would have gone well for us if we had mulliganed to five so kind of a damned if you do damned if you don't situation I think expecting a land in five draws is <laughs> pretty reasonable. What did he get? Thirst for knowledge. Alright. That's strange. I thought he would go straight for a reanimation spell. What a weird Brea deck. It's cool. <laughs> All right, so let's edge of autumn. I'm gonna get a waste and expedition map. I mean, we're not necessarily completely out of this yet. We probably are out of this, but I think we have to continue playing just to make sure. There there are still outs. Wow, what is he doing? Bray is not going to be good for us. Bray is bad pretty much always against it. I mean, like, not many decks can deal with Bray. It's a 6-6 six, six with two 3-3s. Three, threes. So I think that's a one-turn clock. We still have not drawn a land. Uh, we can't play this. We can't. Uh, so we're taking 6, 12, 16, 19. We're not absolutely dead. Jeez, we are so dead. Alright, well let's... We can't get Ayavug in here because then we can't pass the Fierce Empath. I mean, like if we had drawn a land in one of the last six draws, we might be okay-ish. Probably not. Because Fierce Empath doesn't do anything unless we get enough mana to use it. I mean, we're going to go down to, what did I say, uh, well, not 19 if he doesn't sack two of these. So we lose 16 damage, we go down to six, and then we play World Breaker next turn, and then we just die anyways. I'm going to throw this one in. All right, so we got match five. I am on the draw. Um, this is the new tournament structure. So I don't get anything from 2-3, but I'd like to see if I can find another win here. We're playing against Krom and Timna. 
We got a turn one ramp. It's a good start. We can actually keep a, a starting hand. I mean, I think we kept a couple of starting hands. But this one actually looks pretty good. The Emrakul is a little ambitious, but I'm not going to mulligan just because there's an Emrakul in my hand. It's actually something we might want to be able to get to. Opponent is mulligan to six. Looks at her hand. Alright, so we get to keep our bird at least for now. Might just die. But that's always a possibility. I guess you could counter it. I mean, the bird's meant to be played on turn one. You don't try and play around removal or counter spells or anything like that. If he wants to force spike it, he can force spike it. Slows us down a little, but I'm not that upset about it. Alright, it's not a force spike mana. That's killing it mana. Alright. To be expected from a deck like this. That's why I like this deck with some of the cards that help more in grindier matchups. Ooh, Smuggler's Copter is really not great for us. Alright. The yeah, Ibugan's actually pretty good. We have to live long enough to actually be able to use it. Because he can Timna and Smuggler's Copter. Timna is really, really good. It's been dominating the format lately. These Timna decks are actually showing up on the 5-0 list in much bigger numbers than Brea is. I don't know how their matchup against Freya is. Um, I think it's decent. You can, you know, I mean, you've got to, you've got to match their card advantage. So you really got to tempo out hard. And this is such good card advantage here and selection. Alright, there's no forest in play. We haven't drawn anything. Oops. Else that we can play, so we just play Nissa. Get a land, draw, uh, and pass the turn. And he gets to loot and draw a card again. Smuggler's Copter, very good. That's why it's in our deck. Worked very well for us against the Nissa deck. Uh, Alright, you can take a Carpet of Flowers. We got three cards types, and so this costs ten. We got 
five right now. A long way from from getting there. All right, we're getting brain maggoted. Can't take a land. I don't know what you take. I will block Tim Timna with Nissa if he attacks with Timna. Um, now that he can use uh, Brain Maggot to uh, crew the copter. I doubt he will attack with Timna though. Uh, so he took Oracle and Odaya. It's a great choice. Oracle's quite a bit better than the Vizier. I will absolutely block him now. <laughs> I didn't think so. that untapped are you gonna counter our vizier do I want a crop rotation for something I'm not going to name Naga or Cleric on a Cavern of Souls. I want to wait on the crop rotation. I'm just going to play the Vizier. Alright. I don't know why he played this untapped. Swords, maybe? Back in Apparition. All right. And that's actually quite good. And the damage isn't going to matter. Um, it actually took a card type out of our graveyard. Getting, we're getting buried by card advantage here. It'd be nice if we could play this. Um, we can't play the duplicant. I'd like to be able to play the duplicant to kill the Timna. Otherwise, we're probably getting Chrome next turn. And then we're going to have a hard time coming back from that. I don't think there's anything we can really do except play the Eye of Ugin, play the Elves, maybe crop rotate on our end step. Crop, crop rotation only gets us five mana right now. We can't. I guess we could crop rotation now. Just to look at the change what's at the top of our library. Do we want this? I 
I don't think we have much of an option. I think we have to try... If he counters this, it's pretty bad for us. Alright. Um, Temple of the False God is a little risky, because if we lose our land, any land, then we're shut off. Eldrazi Temple is pretty good. Doesn't cast the duplicant. Do we just take an ancient tomb? How much does Nykthos tap for? Three? Alright. Not another creature on top of our library. Get in there. Send a message. Don't want to attack with a Vizier. It's an important blocker right now. Alright. Jeez. This is uh, tough to get around. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and it costs nine. All right, that's a thing. That's actually a good thing. Um, so let's do that. How much mana do we need? We need five for it. So let's leave it green open. I don't think we can work around the jit. The bitter blossom is also a problem, but the jit's probably worse. Is he countering? Did he just take a life damage? Is he force of willing? Oh, he's using the counters. Okay. I thought I saw something click up up here. Do we sacrifice this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For a colorless car, creature card, reveal it. Let's wait. I don't think we can afford to do that. There's the force of will. Maybe I should have. I don't know.
I don't know what we would have gotten. And we would have been one mana short. Five life. I think we can play this Embercool next turn. Taking two damage. Let's find out. This time we are going to sack it and get, what do we get? You know, one, two, three, four, five, six. I guess just a conduit. We're probably dead. He's got a daze. Oh my god. Alright. Nope. So that's actually the second match I've played. I tried the other deck first and um, I had very, I played against two Queen Marchesas and a Leovold and had very similar results. Um there's only so much time and resources I can I can put into this kind of uh, you know so like I've got to call it there I I honestly I do not think that Nissa is very well positioned in the format right now there are too many decks that are just driving card advantage like crazy and um, you know, I mean, even Brea, which is seeing less play, is a card advantage engine herself. Timna is a card advantage, advantage engine. Queen Marchesa is a card advantage engine. Um, Leovold isn't as much because you're not going to target it, but then he can just wipe out your hand. Um, you know, uh, Selvala is a better ramp deck. I don't know what the good matchups are for this deck anymore. Um, I don't think there are many. Even the times um, we were playing with... Uh, Olivia and Animar. Um, we lost a game or two to Nissa when they went off crazy, but those are not, you know, from from the side that we were on, those deck, those matches were not at all unwinnable. They were very winnable, and those are ones that uh, don't necessarily drive on card advantage, and they're also like tier two decks. Um, so basically, like I don't know that this deck can really, unless it gets a really lucky draw. I don't know if it can beat a tier one deck like at all so um i don't know i thought it would do better than this it's it's always been a good deck but um and this is probably the build that i would stick with because it's got you know the the smuggler's copter the life crafters bestiary the um the coercive portal some ways to to try the birthing pod you know ways to try and eke out some card advantage um by the way this is supposed to be a packed So like that, um, it didn't save when I made that change, but we didn't need, end up drawing it. Um, but uh, yeah, so I don't know. I got I got to call it. I mean, I can't I can't just keep grinding until it it wins. But and I don't think that'd be fair. I think it's you know it's important to show that sometimes decks don't do well. And uh, we're, I've been seeing this a lot le recently. But I don't know. I mean, it has not looked good from what I've been playing of Nissa, and I've been through two matches. And it's we just been littered with bad matchup after bad matchup after bad matchup. Um, we had a couple of bad mulligans this time, um, but I'm not sure we could have beaten those ha those opponents anyways. Even if we had, um, you know, unless we had like God hands. But you know, um, one thing I will say about Nissa 
It's a pretty linear deck, but the hardest decision you will ever have to make is on your mulligans. Um, and, uh, you know, like, do you keep a slow seven? Um, do you mulligan a six with only one land and a couple of two mana ramp spells? You know, so um, that's probably, that's the art of playing Nissa is knowing when to mulligan. And, you know, may, maybe I haven't perfected that yet, but, uh, oh well. Um, yeah, so, uh, thank you guys for watching. You guys have a good night.